OK, uh, since we are not going to have this lab, so I, I just want to play a video that <laughs> give, you, give you an idea that how that in the past that how we can collect, uh, collect the LiDAR points with our sensors. So, uh, so and you can find the URL of this uh, video here. So that is our sensor. Um, it's a very tiny, small sensor, and that is located on a tripod. Uh, so here, those are the sensors. It has one receiver and also one transmitter. Uh, it has a Raspberry Pi that is built in. Uh, so once that is running, so we can log in. We can use our cell phone to log into the sensor, and you can pick the uh, the sample rate. And also, do you want to conduct a full scan and also a, a partial scan? And next, uh, the sensor will rotate. So it will send out the laser pulse continuously. You can see, so one send out laser pulse, one receive the laser pulse. And if you choose the 360 degree scan, so it will rotate uh, 360 degree. And um, uh, so just all over the uh, around so yeah okay so now it started so here you can see I'm using the 360 degree scan uh, the sample rate is 1000 and I just give it name that is demo and once that is saved so you can download the file so there are multiple file formats um, you can download that one to your cell phone And next, you can load the points into the uh, one software. So that is called uh, MeshLab. So you can see those are all the tiny points. OK, so those are the real uh, LiDAR points. So that can, uh, and you can see that in the middle, there is a big circle. So that is where the trap point is located, because the sensor cannot scan itself. And next, uh, we are going to do some uh, do some calculations so that we want to convert uh, those points into mesh. So that we want to convert those one into polygons. Okay, so that we can have the real three D objects. Again, the lidar points can be very very huge, so that the calculation will be lower. So if we have a huge data center, a huge data sample. Um, here, the sensor is uh, is not a professional sample data, so it, it does not have GPS, and it is a single return, so we can only have one return, and it does not have a GPS, which means that uh, the points, the x, y, z in those, the x, y, z in the data set are just relative distance to the sensor. So, if you Imagine that we put that in a building. So x, y, z will be just relative distance, OK, to the sensor. So x, y, z, just relative distance to the sensor. So it is not geocoded. So those points are not geocoded. And once we have this 3D objects, and we can do some modification on this 3D project objects. So here we are using the mesh lab, which is a free tool, and we can uh, modify the three ob uh, three D object. Like we can scale this one to be a smaller one, and the cool thing that we did in the past is that once we have those three D objects, uh, we can uh, bring this one to our three uh, D labs, three D print labs, that we can print out those three D objects. And also, we can put that one into a VR scene so that we can view, so people can really uh, be inside of those 3D models. So inside 3D models by uh, wearing a VR device. So you can just walk inside those 3D objects. Um, you can grab the object within the, the buildings. And you can do a lot of something that is pretty cool. OK, so this is how it looks like uh, on the 3D printer. So when we want to print this one out in 3D printers. 
And this is how it looks like in the VR scenes. Uh, so we have different VR devices that you can wear it and you can look at the inside of the model and see how it looks like. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so here are some other students models. So uh, we did a scan in the hallway so you can see that uh, those those parts are belong to the buildings in, and those parts are the noise. Okay, so because we have a lot of random noise, and the range of our sensor is about 20 meters, I would say, 20 meters. So if you have object that is far away from 20 meters, then you'll have a lot of noise. So this is a VR scene that a student created. So that's, you can see we added a model and you can just walk inside of those scenes. So it's uh, pretty cool. And this is another model. So you can see, um, I think this is the, the building that we're, the room that ha we have the vending machine on the second floor, I guess. And also you can create VR scenes and uh, so people can just, um, so this, this is from AWS. So we create a VR scene on AWS. So you can just walk inside of those 3D, 3D models. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully in the future, so uh, if you are going to take my data visualization class in the next semester, so hopefully we can do the LiDAR lab uh, in, in the data visualization class again.